Yo, what's up guys? My name's Hacky and welcome to a brand new video here on the channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys the top clothing glitches in GTA Online. You guys enjoyed the last few and I thought I'd hit you guys with another one and we got some really cool ones in this video. Now just before we start, if you go on to enjoy this video and it does go on to help you out, take two seconds to drop a like on it, that'd be awesome. Also, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and drop a sub, join the Hacky Army. We're actually trying to hit 35k by the end of the year, so if you guys wanna help us get there, feel free to. Also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell as well. Anyway though, let's get straight into it. So for the first thing, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get the yellow rebreather. I'm actually gonna show you guys how to get this entire outfit right here, but the main focus is gonna be this yellow rebreather. Now, as you can tell, you're gonna be needing an arcade for this, so make sure you guys have an arcade, and then make sure you guys unlock the heist right here, and you guys will need the bug stars entry disguise. That's like the main thing to get this specific outfit. So make sure you go ahead and select the bug stars entry disguise, and then just go ahead and start it, and you can find one person to help you with this. He doesn't have to do much at all he just has to sit in the job so just make sure you have the bug stars entry disguise selected and then i'm actually going to change outfit real quick just to show you guys it actually works you guys just saw right here it's this one right here so i'm going to go ahead and change to this outfit so as you guys can see i'm going to go ahead and set the entry disguise as bug stars so once you get to the outfit selection make sure you have this outfit right here selected as you can see it has the yellow rebreather and then just go ahead and ready up so once you start up the heist all you guys want to do is pull up the new action menu and then go into style and then you guys want to scroll through make sure you guys scroll through player mood for about 15 seconds once the 15 seconds are up all you guys want to do go down to illuminated clothing and make sure you guys scroll through this for about 30 seconds here now once the 30 seconds are over just stop scrolling through it and then you guys just want to put your controller down just don't touch anything whatsoever so as you guys can see we just got kicked for an activity and now you guys just want to spam a or x if you're on ps4 or ps5 i should say now for a few seconds and then just wait till you get into an online session So as you guys can see, we got the outfit on us. And sometimes you're gonna have the regular parachute you usually have just like me here, or you might have the parachute that was actually on the outfit. So if you do have the parachute that was on the outfit inside the heist, you could just go into parachute and just turn it off right here. And then you can actually switch clothes on this outfit, which is gonna allow you to make any outfit you want pretty much with this yellow rebreather on. So once again, if you guys did spawn in with the duffel bag that was in the heist as well, then you guys will need to take it off once again, just take it off in their interaction menu just like this or else you're not going to be able to change clothes but as you guys can see i'm able to change pretty much everything on this outfit as you can see i can put any t-shirt i want pretty much everything this is fully customizable and of course you still have the yellow rebreather on and i think this is the only way to get it there might be another way but as far as i know this is the easiest way to get it and it's a super sick accessory to put on modded outfits for example if you're doing a black and yellow modded outfit so for this you guys will need a facility and you guys need a specific mission called setup escort ulp it's part of the doomsday scenario and if you guys don't have this you guys can go down to the comment section and i'm sure you guys can help each other out so if anyone wants to host this mission for others you can so just make sure you have a friend to help you even if you have this mission and you don't need anybody to host it for you you will still need a friend so just go ahead and launch it once you guys load into the mission, you guys want to change the difficulty to hard and then make sure heights clothing is set to front selection and then just confirm settings and go ahead and start the job. Once you get to selecting an outfit, you guys want to make sure outfit style is set to high tech impact and then you guys want to scroll till you guys find the outfit with the gray joggers which is called the machine right here as you can see we got the gray joggers and then you could just go ahead and ready up and start the job. Now once the mission loads up, the first thing you guys want to do is you guys want to make sure you blow yourself up so as soon as you load in just go ahead and blow yourself up so i'm just gonna go ahead and throw a nade right here and then it's gonna say mission failed so as you guys can see it says setup failed and you guys want to tell your friend to press continue when you load into like the sky right here so tell your friend to press continue right here as you guys can see and as soon as you guys see the orange circle on the bottom right you guys want to make sure you disconnect your controller so let's wait for it and as you guys can see i just disconnected my controller and you guys want to wait on this screen for about 20 seconds i would say no less than 20 seconds so just wait on the screen or you guys can actually just ask your friend in party chat if you're on a party when you're back into a session 
But after about 20 seconds, just go ahead and reconnect your controller and you should be without a minimap and that's how you know you did it exactly correct. So now you want to drive to any clothing store pretty much. So if you don't know where one is, I guess you could just ask your friend to like direct you to the nearest one. But so we found the nearest ammunition store and I'm not sure if I said clothing or ammunition store earlier. So if I did say clothing store, I meant ammunition store. So just head to your nearest ammunition store and then go into the gear section and you guys want to equip any of these earpieces so i'm gonna be equipping the lcd earpiece and now what you guys want to do you want to tell your friend to fully quit gta so so make sure he fully quits gta not only going into story mode or something like that he has to fully quit the game and once your friend fully quit gta you now need to join pretty much anybody on your friends list so just make sure you get an invite from anyone keep in mind you're gonna need to join someone through the xbox or playstation menu because you're not gonna be able to join someone through the game it's just not gonna work so as you can see, I'm just gonna go ahead and accept this alert and now we are joining someone. So as you guys can see, we just loaded back into an online session and as you can see, we still have the outfit on us with the gray joggers. So now you want to head to any ammunition or clothing store to go ahead and save this outfit. And as you can see, we have the mini map back, which is perfect. So just go into the outfit section here and then you can save it in pretty much any slot you want. So I'm just going to call it gray. And now you have officially secured the gray joggers in GTA 5 online. And you can also take off the earpiece if you want and you can put pretty much any top, any shoes and any accessories you want to put on this outfit. So it's fully customizable so you want to equip the outfit you want to put this on and make sure you take off all head accessories so that's pretty much all accessories besides gloves you can have gloves on if you want so once you took off any glasses or hats or masks or anything like that if you did have one on go to the hat section now in the hat section you guys want to go all the way down to riot helmets and then go down till you see the lspd riot helmet and then go ahead and equip the lspd riot helmet and then from here you guys want to back out of this and then you guys want to go up to helmets and then inside of helmets you guys want to look for four specific helmets that are actually going to decide which color you're going to get at the end so scroll till you guys see right here these four right here so the digital the cubist the cobble and the death so if you want to get the pink bulletproof helmet make sure you guys buy the digital helmet if you guys want the purple one make sure you guys buy the cubist if you guys want the orange one make sure you guys buy cobble and then if you guys want the green one make sure you buy the death helmet so once again this is pink this is purple this is orange and that this is green whichever color you want to get just go ahead and buy Buy whichever one and so after you bought whichever one you want go back into riot helmets and you guys want to equip the lspd riot helmet once again and now you guys want to head outside and now in the interaction menu there's going to be a few options you guys want to pay attention to so in bike helmet you guys want to set this to whichever color helmet you guys want so once again i'm going to show you how to get the pink one here so i'm going to choose the digital helmet but once again if you guys want to get the purple one make sure you set it to this one and then if you want the orange one this one and then the green one is this one so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys the pink one so make sure you set it to whichever one you want and then in helmet visor you guys want to make sure this is set to visor down and then right under that in auto show bike helmet make sure you set this to off and now you guys want to find pretty much any street vehicle around you so i'm not sure if it works with bikes so that's why i'm not using my oppressor for this so just go ahead and find any street vehicle pretty much and now you want to go ahead and pull up their new action menu and become a ceo and once you become a ceo go ahead and get in the street car and now you guys want to pull up their new action menu go into the secure serve menu and then go into management go into style and then you guys want to scroll one to the right and then one back to the left and then you guys want to go ahead and exit the vehicle back out of the interaction menu and now you guys want to hold the right d-pad which is going to put it up and as you guys can see it didn't work this time it's going to take at least a few tries so don't worry it's not 100 percent consistent so i'll get back to you guys when it does actually work three hours later So as you guys can see, we got it this time. It did turn pink. You guys just saw that. So, so it actually took me a total of about six or seven tries. So it does take a good amount of tries. I don't know if there's really a formula to doing this. I mean, I just did it fairly fast that time and it worked. So try to do it as fast as you can. After doing it for a few tries, you guys will pretty much just get the hang of it.